Bill here again, and I was at Glasgow Comic Con today, and this is the seven figures that I got. You hate, you can see the big boy there, and it's not the Toys R Us one, it's the SDCC. I'll show you that. Actually, I'll just start with him. See, he's got the two guns. Two guns, and I think, uh, and there you can see he's got the chrome uh, face. So it's this, and, and of course he's got the Japanese writing on it, or Chinese writing. So he's the SDCC. It cost me 150 quid, but then I think on eBay and that the SDCC version compared to the Toys R Us version is uh, slightly bit, a wee bit slightly dearer because it's got the chrome on it and the full range of sound effects and the extra cannon or gun on them that's what it is the other things I picked up take them in order I've got uh, Ryan Parks comes with the comic uh, the other one that was there they had is Bumblebee that, that Bumblebee was there that, uh, I'm going the wrong way, that Megatron was there, but it's a repaint, I can't remember who the hell that is, it's, it might be Dreadwick, I, I can't remember the, the, the name of the, the repaint, you'll know who it is, but it's a repaint of him out, the IDW Megatron, that fella was there at the Comic Con, uh, but that Bumblebee was there, well I didn't bother picking him up, of course I had to get him, even though everyone says it's crap, but it's, it's there for the sake of getting them, and, and in Glasgow, believe me, we don't get much in the way of Transformers. Uh, well, certainly not on the shelf like this, even though this was at a venue, is uh, Tankor. I was going to say Rhinox, uh, Tankor, of course, the booklet. The other one that was there, of course, is Rat Trap. He was there also. The uh, Crosscut wasn't, but Rat Trap was there. I didn't bother getting him, but Metroplex wasn't there. I bought, obviously. You know, if he's there, you don't have him. And especially the SDCC one, you're going to grab it. So, I had to cut curb my spending at some point, so I couldn't get Rat Trap. But I mean, if, if Rat Trap comes in a size like that, that could, if you have a, quite a big letterbox, it could, in a package, probably fit through the door. You can get it from eBay. Uh, Rat Trap. That one is a Minicon Assault Team, which is basically like, it's a three one. But it's there com combined together to form a bigger robot, a bit like uh, Perceptor was with in Transformers of Matter. Same idea. You, you get three figures that can that can be separate robots and combined together to form that. A lot and that, again I've heard a lot on this that people don't like this, I think it's crap. But hey, he's there. Uh, I got it, you know, I wanted a little combiner. I've got I've got the Perceptor one anyway, I'm not going to showing you, but I've, I've got the Perceptor from uh, the Armada days. So, ah, is it about the same size Perceptor, I think. But anyway, that's him. I have, now we're on to the really good stuff. And of course, aha, Sandstorm. Yep, Generations. I had to get him. Who wouldn't? Everybody else has got him. And they probably got him online. I mean, these were th £30, by the way. £30 each. I know it's steep, but when you take into consideration that it's in Glasgow, you don't get these figures on the shelves there normally. Yeah, yes, you say, oh, we could have ordered off of eBay or BBTS or we've got it cheaper. You know, these things been out for a while and blah, blah, blah. Well, well, well maybe I could have, but I decided to get it there. They also had uh, him in as well at the, at the Comic Con. But I'll, I'll show you why I didn't get him in a minute. And of course, if you get Sandstorm, you've got to get, yep, Springer. So I've got Springer. Yep, there he is. Springer. I could not get Springer. Come on. Sandstorm and Springer go, go together. I mean, some, some of you probably bought them together anyway. Whenever you bought them. But I had to get him. So that's him. Oh, and in the bottom, uh, again, it's just Blitzwing. This is the reason why I didn't get Blitzwing. Because of the newer repaint, which is... ta -da! Double dealer! <laughs> yes, it's double dealer. Of course. Well, going the wrong way. Right, double dealer. 
fitted it, it was at the star screen one, I would like to get the star screen repaint. And of course, yes, he's the same mould as Blitzwing, and of course he's got the same, you can expect to get the same shoulder joint problem. So, eh, listen, I'm just glad to get the figure. And there he is there, cool. I, I do love this this guy's colours, okay, you get the purple with the Blitzwing, I do love this guy's colours. He does look cool, tank. Blue. Again, you get the star scream. Oh, eh, uh, that uh, also at Comic Con he was in as well. Yep, Rhinox, he was there too, but I didn't bother getting him. Again, had to get Metroplex. I couldn't afford every figure. Yeah, did I show you Iron Packs? I think I did. I don't know if I showed you, but aye, it's Iron Packs. I think there's sort of similar truck coming out uh, style. So it's a garbage one with the new RID. Even though the Prime's not in the series, is there's still a toy of it coming out. It's not too dissimilar to that. Well, obviously it's a, that, that's not a garbage truck, but it's not too dissimilar to that in style. So there we go. But that's it. Obviously, I'll, I'll pause the video and show you when I take them out. I'm not, I'm not going to start doing the stickers for Retroplex just now. You've seen it in other YouTube videos. You don't need me to show you all stickered up. You've seen it in other videos. I mean, even the SDCC one you've seen. But I'll do the sound effects and go through it with you. And the other figures too, I'll go quickly through you. You've, you've, again, you've seen all these and you've got them already. So, some of you have got them. So there's no point in me going over old... Uh, you can over the same old routine that you've seen in other videos or you've you, you've got them and, and you know how to transform them or you, you know what they're like anyway but I'll, I'll, I'll not just skip uh, I'll, I'll not just skip a lot of these but obviously I'm not, I'm not going to spend the next six hours trying to stick stickers on this guy we, we know what he's like so I don't know how long it takes to Stick stickers on him, so I'll, I'll, I'll unbox them all and show you it then, okay? Like I said, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll show transformations on them. Like I say, you, you've either got them or you've seen them on YouTube and other ones, and they're probably clearer than mine. See, I've, I've got kind of motion blur on my, I mean, that, this is on the camera I've got, and it's motion blur, so half, I'm, if I did all that, half it would be a bloody mess. So I'll, I'll just show you the figure up close. And all that. Okay, in different modes. There, there is alternate modes. I'll try and put a link to the ultimate because someone on one of the YouTube, uh, one of the Blooming Transformers pages on Facebook did ask about that a while back. I don't know if anyone's answered them. But there is other alternate modes. There's a YouTube video. I'll try and link that either to that person's reply or onto the bottom of this video in the comments and in when when I link this into to, to these Transformers pages. Right, and Facebook that one, okay. I'll, I'll try. I'll try and link that because there is another three modes. I think it is for for Springer and uh, well, at least for Springer. And uh, I don't know about uh, Sandstorm. I haven't seen his, but definitely for Springer anyway. I, I know there's another three modes I've seen someone doing YouTube. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll just link it, and the person that's already done it. It's a better quality than this motion blur carry on okay i'll pause it in it hello again hello again that's them in robot mode i uh, metro metroplex yeah great that's rude put your finger away <laughs> there's metroplex the scamper you get with them and uh, yeah he's t he, he is one mighty tall figure Metroplex he really is I, I do like uh, that's uh, well kind of wire mesh type effect on it I'll, I'll go through them as in, individually his, his weapons are there you get the two guns so he has the STCC Actually, I was thinking, if, if you happen to have the, the Toys R Us version, eBay or one of these online websites about to probably sell these individually. You could probably get an extra one in. You have two, see? 
Oh, okay, there's nothing you can do about the sound effects. It's only got half the sound effects of the Toys R Us to the that one, but the SDCC one. But, uh, but if you want to end up, I'm, I'm sure they sell them individually and you can buy an extra one. Actually, while well, I'm on the subject of that, he is actually a spaceship. These are, because they get moulded in turrets. There's the bridge up there. And along the sides there and the other side is more turrets. So he's obviously some kind of spaceship. So I think that's what I suppose about. I take it with the size of Metroplex. These things, guns are absolutely massive. So you can imagine that there's some sort of spaceship. Because it looks like one. That definitely looks like a kind of bridge in the tower there. So I would imagine that's what these are. Anyway, on to Ryan Pax. There he is. Axe and Ion Blaster G1 Ion Blaster. There he is. I, I don't know what lots of what symbols in there. I don't know if you can actually move that. And it, there's a space in there for chairs or whatever the hell it is. Seats. It'll show you when he's in vehicle mode. I'll turn the vehicle mode after. Again, I don't. I'm not, there's no point in me doing these on the uh, transport. If, if I'm like that, the, the you, you end up with. Motion blur. See, 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 see the motion blur? It would just be a blur. You, you, you wouldn't see what the hell was going on. So, that, that, and you, you can find these on YouTube for someone with a better vi video uh, recording equipment than me, just to show you the figures in robot mode, and I'll change it to uh, vehicle mode after. Aye, right, that's him there. I don't know if there and get a hell's head sculpt. Aye, right. Optimus, obviously, you know, and I'm packed before. Game of Optimus. Iron Blaster looks nice. Yep, very, very nice. And that's him. And he's got the two wheels at the back. The wheels at the back, it looks as if it's sort of uh, Warfare Cybertron type Optimus Prime. I think he's got wheels that go like that. I could be wrong. But it kind of looks that way. Uh, other thing, here's that little Minicon team. I don't know if he's actually got a name. It just says Minicon team. He's got his weapons. Uh, his weapons are all three weapons stacked together. You know, he's, he's, he's three separate uh, 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 robots. They just stack the guns together and forms one giant gun. So that's him there. He's also got the helicopter blades at the back. There's the back of him. Try to get this bloody hang on. There we go. Ah, he's not a bad wee figure. But I say, I think he's about. Uh, Armada Perceptor height. That's that sort of size. If you can imagine that. Already found a fault with this figure, apart from the usual. In there, I don't know if you can see it. There's in that one, I think. Oh no, 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 no. It's, it's in the back there. Right on my, up, up where my finger is. That tab won't tab in properly. I try to get it in and it will not click in so the tab's a bit the tab won't go in i may have to kind of shave a little bit off it to try and see if it going but i don't want to shave it too much it'll get too loose but that's a uh, tank or then he's got a wee rolling wheel at the back Whee! and he's got his weapon see there's tank or I actually thought that was made of metal, but it's plastic. It looks kind of shiny metal. I don't think you can see it too well in this. It looks kind of shiny, metallic type type affair. I, th I thought it was actual metal, but it's not. It's plastic. Ah, it's, like I said, it's, it's okay. It's, nobody likes tank all that much. Um, I, mind you, they're all getting them, so, so they, it, it, it must be worth something if everybody keeps getting them. Uh, of course, Springer. Hee <laughs> hee. Love this guy. Head swivel, arms move. Obviously, you know you've seen it in other videos. All his, what he does, his head and his arms and his legs. Of course, they're all moving because it's part of his transformation. Of course, it's all going to move. Uh, light piping in the top there. If you get the angle right, you can shine it through and get nice uh, eye, uh, light up eyes. Nice weapon. Obviously, it was on top of. Oh, just shot the thing there. It must be these uh, thingy ones that just push. I can't. Uh, there's a name for them. I can't. I just. 
forget the name of him. That's him there, Springer. Nice figure. And, and brother, obviously, brother to Sandstorm. Which he, I say, do not get one of these figures. You get him with Sandstorm, I think, and the eBay, and he's packaged together. Because I think most of you, that's what you're doing. You're getting him and Sandstorm together. And of course, Double Dealer, repaint of Generations uh, Blitzwing. The other thing that I think is different from him is in there is he's got that paint on his nose cone, that, that kind of shark type thing. I don't think uh, Blitzwing has that. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think Blitzwing has that paint, uh, thing, painted thing on his nose cone. Which is... Oh. Which is quite good. Head sculpts look really nice. Oh, there's a light pipe in there. And there. Going for a sec, yep. Oh, that, that's really nice light pipe, that light pipe, isn't it? That's nice, that. See the eyes light up there. Ha! Never thought I would get that. Thank you. Thank you, D-Light, for that help. His sword. His gun. I keep seeing him on his feet. And I'll just swim around to the back, and of course, it might a big tank and the gun. The gun actually kind of moves up and down, and of course, it'll fire the weapon. Alright, very, very, very nice. I really I wanted this. When I saw Blitzwing, I said, bugger it. Everybody's getting, everybody's had them. They're getting, they're getting onto this figure now, so I said, ah, I'll just take him. The, 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 the Comic Con do have them in. Uh, Blitzwing, but I thought, ah, I'll just get him. He said, I, I, I prefer his colour. Okay, he's, he's got a little bit of purple on him. Purple layer, purple layer, purple layer, purple in the wings, uh, tail fins, you know. He has got purple on him. It's that kind of blue, that I kind of like. And of course, uh, Sandstorm. Obviously different. He's got the wheels that double up as uh, VTOL things, you know, vertical takeoff things. These jets, or whatever you want to call them. Or hover things, whatever it is, you know, you know, try to get that. And there's his weapon, his arm, his head is actually very loose in this one. It's stiffer on uh, on uh, Springer, but he's very loose. I, I, I thought it was going to twist right off. Obviously it's in a ball joint, it can't, but I thought, I feel, I feel like it was going to well, oh, I think that's the, yeah, his eyes kind of lit up there for a minute, angle it right, yep, that's quite good, so, I'm very happy with him as well, it's kind of reminiscent of the helicopter mode when you see the, the cockpit, the way the shape is when he's in uh, flying vehicle mode, the cockpit kind of it has that little rem reminiscent of the orange helicopter, and of course, uh, you get him with Metroplex Scamper. Don't know why he kind of gets slammer and six gun. A lot of people say, ah, they, 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 blah blah blah. They, they don't really want uh, slammer and six gun with him. Uh, uh, I, it would have been nice to have six gun and slammer. But ah, uh, let's see. It's not. It's not compulsory to have that. And there he is. Wow. And of course, put the. Now, one thing I want to ask you: Did you get batteries with yours? Because I had to, I had to put. Uh, lucky, I had batteries. I had to put batteries in mine. I had to get. Well, I didn't have to get batteries. I had batteries, but I think not. I did not get batteries with them. So I had to get batteries. So I don't know if yours came with batteries. Mine certainly didn't. The other thing that's annoying is that okay, I press the button, but sometimes you do that, it won't activate the sounds. You've got to hold it right there. 
So it's a little, you know, you'd expect it just to be more sensitive. See it like that, it won't, it won't activate. Yeah, that's The other thing I don't like about it is you open that up and you can see all that kind of skeletal work going on. If that was filled in, it'd be nice, but because it's all kind of skeletal, uh, it could have done more with it. But, I mean, it looks alright like that. It could, it's obviously representing a kind of laser gun type affair. Obviously, that's what it is, but it, it just looks a bit skeletal to me, you know. They, they, could, they could have done more to fill that in. And, of course, in this one, what side it's on, that seems a bit loose. There doesn't seem to be anything there to, 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 peg, to peg into. There's a, there's a thing behind it, but, you know, it's, it's kind of loose. It's a wee bit kind of loose, it, it just kind of hangs a wee bit loose. This one's obviously tight, but this one just seems a wee bit kind of loose. I mean, you could have done it with a peg in there to, to, to clip, up, clip, clip it on. It just seems a wee bit kind of loose to me. Obviously, I'm, I'm I'm happy with the figure, very happy with it. Uh, the only other thing is that bloody thing keeps falling down. Keeps see, what's doing? Won't stay up. Oh, you can put a little blue tack in there and it might keep it up, but yeah. Uh. And of course the, the visor. Oh, oh, I'll show you the face. Yeah, it's nice and chrome. The legs aren't chrome, but they're just sort of silver painted. Actually. I I thought they were meant to be chrome, but m maybe put stickers over them and it looks chrome, I don't know. But the face is definitely chrome, until the face is chrome. And it's got a nice chrome bit on there. There's a nice chrome piece on there, kind of mirrored chrome on there you can see. That's nice. But apart from that, ah, it's really good, I like it. But like I said... I mean, I've got onto these different modes in it, and I'll, and I'll f tell you what's wrong with them then, right? Oh, there he is. I couldn't even fit him in. I'd have to stand him back here to, to fit him in the... He's that huge! That was the biggest thing of it. In fact, I know what I'll do right now. I'll show you what I'll do right now. I'm sorry, I'm not knocking these over. You've probably seen the comparison with this before with someone else. But... I shouldn't be lifting with his head. There's, oh, the master. I did actually lift it and the head was coming off there. There's, uh, is it Energon or whatever, Unicron. He's supposed to be quite big. And there's Metroplex next to him. You can see the different size. He's about, he's about half the size of him. Comes up to his, his waist. And just above the waist, the, the tip of the horns just above the waist I think just above the waist so that just shows you when you see the size of Energon Unicron was the highest figure I had I mean there's Primus but Primus is I think Primus is slightly smaller than Energon Unicron so it wouldn't I mean, he's obviously a lot lot bigger so it's really worth it if you really like tall robots that is Superb. I mean, obviously, that it'd be similar to what height-wise, it was similar to what you'd like to get in Fortress Maximus, encore full size. Height-wise, I'm talking about obviously. I think height-wise is you get the idea of what Fortress Maximus's height is, is like. You know, the full size one. But aye, that is some blooming. Put that over here. Some blooming size in it. I know I've knocked half my toys down, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll stop this now and I'll change tra tra these triple chains into the different forms and other the other ones into the other forms as well. Okay, I should knock these down. Anyway, I better go and do that. Okay, I'll see you shortly. <coughs> Hi again. Uh, I've got Metroplex in these. Rolling battle station mode, and there's Scamper, and these just actually sit on. There's little slots at the side that's they just sit on there that they don't actually clip on, they just sit on there. There's, there's a little kind of guide that they, they fit on into, 
and that again I don't like the top of that it, it's it's ribbed like I showed you before uh, when that gun stuck out it's ribbed that's ribbed at the back there and they sit down and there's, there's extra guns and the gun turret and all that just to double as the head so that's ribbed these are all right the arms it just it just doesn't it doesn't seem to do go the same way as the the G1 there is a kind of slidey thing there I don't know if that can actually slide out it looks as if there's some in there could slide see that it looks as if some can oh, I'll show you after there is some that looks as if it can slide along but I don't know what it is <coughs> I uh, there's Sandstorm in his VTOL mode. So you try to get that gun on in there. It's a wee notch on the gun and it is a wee slot just behind the landing gear. You just have to try and slide it or clip it into there. It's a hell of a difficult. It took me a while because I wonder how the hell do you fit it on there? It wasn't fitting on. But just this tiny, tiny wee notch on the other side of it fits just into that tiny wee uh, slot, and just where the landing gear is, it just push the landing gear up. There's a wee, there's a wee slot that fits in there. S -s -s same with uh, Springer. Ah, that's in his Vito. There's Springer. With Springer, I can't seem to get these. Uh, Pegged in right, I'll lift that up. There's pegs there that fit into the slots there. I can't seem to get it in properly. It just won't stay in. It's a bugger to do. And see, so, so try to get that on. It wouldn't go on to begin with. I had to use a pair of scissors to, to widen the hole slightly to, to get that in. And it's stiff as it is, I'd probably not be able to get it back out. So, I had problems with that, try to get that on. And again, I really nice helicopter mode. Uh, I'll put it into. These are reminiscent of Stratosphere. Stratosphere's got tail fins the exact same as that. I don't know which way they go up, they go that way probably. Or that, maybe that's car mode. They go that way, that doesn't matter. But anyway, that's him. What I say. No point in me transforming it. You can see how bad the motion blur is in my thing. It would just be a bloody mess. You, you wouldn't be able to see what's going on. Uh, there's, there's clearer other videos that show. I mean, if you've got them yourself, you know how to transform them. So, I mean, that's in this helicopter mode. There's Double Dealer in his tank mode. And, like the original Double Dealer, you got a Autobot symbol at the front there. So it's obviously, you know, uh, one of these spy things that pretends it's an Autobot with a Decepticon, like uh, Transformers animated shortwave, you know, he's an Autobot long arm and a Decepticon, <coughs> that kind of idea. So, aye, really nice. I like how the, the cockpit opens, oh, I like how the cockpit Opens up well, I can't, can't get the bastard to open. And now, but the canopy opens up. I like how the canopy opens up. Not that you can fit in in it, it's all moulded, but the canopy opens up and that's quite nice in the cockpit. Ah, he's, 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 all, he's actually quite alright. I don't, I haven't uh, figured out how to. Uh, get the to fire the weapon. Ugh, oh, I'm not that bored just now. He's a nice guy. Really nice. Uh, of course, self explanatory tank core. Not much to it. I actually had trouble trying to fit the, the peg in the holes there because I didn't have these damn things f forward. <laughs> I forgot to do that. I eventually found out. Because a lot of these I, I transform without, I try to transform without the aid of instructions. I, I did, I do look at the instructions all the time if I'm stuck. 
but I tried to do them without and of course uh, Ryan Pax nice looking truck there he is, the weapons Ryan Pax again because of my motion blur, no point in me showing the transformation of these the best to, you'll find uh, clearer and better for, clearer videos on YouTube of these characters anyway. If you've got them, you know how to do it, but if you don't, you can always look them up. And of course, the Minicon team. There they are, there. We have got the wee gunship helicopter. The uh, Dreadwing, Transformers Prime Dreadwing, uh, Legion size Dreadwing. He, he actually transforms just the exact same as Legion class uh, Dreadwing he's, the way his feet go back and his arms just clip onto the side of his feet he's just the exact same in fact he looks just like Dreadwing I wouldn't be surprised if they could have just did a repaint of Dreadwing and made a few cosmetic modifications and basically took it off Dreadwing because it's, it's basically not, not that different it's the same kind of jet and of course this one looks like uh, G2 Megatron tank. Again, the, the middle bit of the weapon clips into the middle just the same way as the gun does on G2 Megatron tank. Does. So, oh, uh, the turret can't uh, swivel because that, that bit there is the head and it doesn't move, so it can't swivel. The drawback, but. The wee minicon it's alright. That's him there. <clears throat> now I'll transform these guys into their individual robot forms. Them into their car modes. Him into his jet mode. Uh, you've seen this guy in his both modes. He's only got two modes so he can stay out. And you've seen this guy in two modes, so they'll, they'll not be in the next section of the video. Because you've seen the two. Okay, oh, and of course, <coughs> you've seen Scamper in two, it's both modes, so he'll be left out. Uh, to transform him into city mode as well, so oh, you'll see that in the next section of the video. Okay, I'll pause it just now. Thanks. Try to get this damn thing paused. Ah, again, uh, that's him in city mode. You're supposed to be able to put that on the back of that, but I, I don't get over where that one is, but I, I don't, I, I can't seem to find a way of clipping it on. Uh, it's supposed to clip on somewhere. Uh, where is it? It's a clip on there, but I don't, I don't know how the hell you do it. Uh, but it says instructions, but I'll, I'll need to look at the uh, videos again. But that's him in city mode, you can see, he's obviously haven't got the instructions, uh, the, not the instructions, the decals on him. And uh, he's got his ramp there, and he's got his wee, he's put a minicoy in, uh, in there, and put a minicoy up there, and whatever. That is really nice. Uh, oh, the, the decals I haven't got on them, the stickers. Stickers! I haven't got on them. So, uh, anyway, these little mini coin figures, I'll show you them. There's that, uh, what it looks like. Uh, oh, what do you call them? Oh. Aye, him. There's the one that looks like. Uh, oh. Dreadwing, exactly the same. Dang it, there's a wee helicopter one. Legs are off your thin. A Gatling gun. And there's a tank. You get a huge sniper rifle kind type thing. He's, he's, he's kind of a, a wee kind of dumpy type guy, you know, he's off his short and kind of dumpy. Anyway, that's them three, I've moved them out of the road. 
and show you double dealer he is lovely look at that it says in instructions that that gun there moves around to the front but you, there's no way of swinging that around I mean I try to I tried to move it for but I felt as if I was going to break it. I don't think it, I think it moves only so far. I don't know why the instructions it's got is sticking out the front like that, but the gun. But obviously it's sticking out the back. But I, I don't know because you can't swing it around. Well, I've I've not been able to swing it around. I, I felt as if I was going to break it if I tried. I don't know why the instructions have got it facing the front instead of the back. The big cannon. See? It, it's, it has it. It's, it's sticking out the front, but I, I don't understand that. The landing gear in this is awfully loose. I get the bastards to come out. Ah, there it is there. It's very loose. It just flops about. But uh, I, I, from, apart from all these foibles, I'm glad I got them. Absolutely. So that's uh, double dealer, the sandstorm. And a bugger try to get the windows to, to match up. Oh dear! In fact, that that was gonna pop back out again. That one has. Oh, wrong way. See, it's kind of misaligned, keeps popping back out. I don't know if you've got any problem with yours like that. Bye, there's Sandstorm and his June buggy, it's a crazy car type mode. <laughs> and now this is slightly different, this is one of the secret alt modes. It's going about for him, the uh, Springer, he looks like a kind of truck type thing. See, it looks like a kind of truck type thing. Obviously, the, the car was supposed to be back and steer back or forward or, or something like that. I mean, that bit's supposed to be back a bit, obviously. And these are swung around. But this is one of the secret old modes. I'd, I prefer this mode better. It looks better, it looks more like a truck. Or an elongated, uh, weird looking Cybertronian vehicle. So that's in vehicle mode. You've, you've seen the robot mode and the other robot modes, so you've seen, seen them all the But so far, that is me for this video. The video's about 20 hours long, I think. There's the guys there. And I'll bring the other guys in. So, let's go through them all. So this is a video for, uh, I don't know if it's Generation IDW or Iron Packs, Tankor, Generations Double Dealer, Generations Sandstorm, Generations Springer. I do love these two guys, by the way. Uh, the Minicon Assault Team. There they are there. I don't really like these because they seem to fall apart too easily. Minicon Assault Team. And of course, the big Tamale himself. Generations Metroplex. Okay. Sorry I couldn't show me transforming these guys, but... You can see the problem there. To be too blurry, you, you wouldn't see much going on. There's other YouTube videos that are a lot clearer and crisper that you can watch. And if you've got these guys, anyway, you know how to transform. If you don't, you go to YouTube and watch another video. Sorry about that, I couldn't do it, but motion blur on this is very terrible. So, this is me signing off. Uh, obviously, uh, points of articulation. Oh, points of articulation again. 
if you have them, you know that. I mean, you know how they transform. So all of a sudden, the, the arms, legs, and the head is going to move in such a way that it transforms anyway. And even with Metroplex and all that, so I mean, bend at the knees and the joints and all that. So it's all part of the transformation process. You you, you know how flexible the, the the limbs and the head and the arms and the knees are for the transformation purposes. So. You should know that anyway, or if you watch other videos that are clearer, they'll show you points of articulation. Okay, oh, oh, size-wise also, again, watch other video. they probably compare them to, I mean, you, you know Metroplex is bigger than anything apart from Fort Max. <laughs> anything, anything smaller than Fort Max, he's taller, so there it is, that, that's it. There is no equal size other than other Metroplex of the same of the same generations. Uh, I the, the Sandstorm and uh, Double Dealer and all that are just uh, Voyager size, class size. The these are, I would say the deluxe, maybe deluxe size, and of course. If you've had the mini coins before, you'll know the size of them. You know, it's like the same size as a uh, oh uh, Armada Perceptor. Same ideas, but Armada Perceptor. They're joined together, you know. Same idea and same size. So that's me. I, I, I better not keep this video going any longer, Chris. It's about thirty hours long as it is. Uh, well, or, or almost feels like it. Uh, so this is Bill Bartley signing off. I, f I hope you guys on uh, TFW, uh, uh, not TFW, on the Transformers, various Transformers web pages enjoy this video. Sorry I couldn't get them transformed, but you saw the problems I have with my webcam. It's not the best. And we say, oh, good, get yourself a better webcam. Listen, I've just spent £300 on this lot. I, I think I've... <laughs> I, I, I don't have, have an inexhaustible amount of money. So I'll just have to make do with this just now. Okay, right. Thank you. I'll see you around. Bye.